Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do a diagonal basting stitch. All you need is thread. I'll be using this purple thread today. Scissors. Needles. Fabric. You can use two pieces or one. In this case, I'm just going to use one and just fold it in half. This is just regular quilting cotton fabric that has been cut into squares. This is optional, but I'm gonna be having some beeswax. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so like I said earlier, we will be doing a diagonal basting stitch. Um, if you checked out my previous video, I did a basic basting stitch, so go check that out if you haven't already. Um, for the diagonal basting stitch, it has the same idea. It's just used to keep your fabric secure while you're going to the sewing machine or stitching a quilt. Um, it's just there to hold your fabric in place so it won't shift. So I already threaded my needle. Still going to take this beeswax and I'm just going to let it go through just to get it to stay together. Okay, so if you remember my basting stitch is this one right here so we had an uneven basting stitch and an even basting stitch but today we're going to be doing a diagonal so let's get started with that so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to turn my fabric this way because to do a diagonal instead of going horizontally across we're going to be going down so what that looks like is i'm just going to go ahead and put my needle through And my tail here is kind of long. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. All right. So I have my needle through. So it's coming out of the back. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lay my needle. Or, well, I guess if you turn it like this, you don't have to. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back to the other side. So it's kind of like I'm doing horizontal. Like I'm, my string should be horizontal when it pulls through. All right, so as you can see, it looks like a horizontal line, which is good, that's what you want. So this is where the magic happens. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna go horizontal again. We're just going across, but under the previous stitch and we're just going to go inside again and now it looks diagonal whip your fabric back over to the back you're going to make another horizontal line so i'm just going under this one and we're going to pull okay so it looks horizontal on the back when we come to the front again i'm going right under this one maybe like right here I'm gonna put, pull it through. And we have another horizontal line. So you just keep doing that. So the way you know if you're doing it right is if your back is horizontal. That kind of was a little crooked there, but. And then your front is diagonal. Okay, so you're just going to keep doing that horizontal. Then go under this diagonal. And again, you would just use the stitch to hold your fabric down. It's like if you're trying to sew two pieces together, but your pins are being in the way or something like that, you can just take the time and baste stitch. Um, it will help you not have to worry about your fabric shifting and um, seams not being lined up. Um, yeah. oh, so with that one, I kind of went horizontal, but 
you get the gist of how it should be going all the way down in a horizontal way. I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. And there we have the diagonal basting stitch. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.